Hello everyone, my name is Azrina, a fourth year undergraduate pharmacy student from University of Brunei Darussalam. In this video, I'll be giving an educational talk on allergic rhinitis including its symptoms, causes, prevention, treatment, and any special precautions. Allergic rhinitis is also known locally as rustum or hay fever. It is an allergic reaction affecting the nose. People who have allergic rhinitis may also have asthma, conjunctivitis, swelling of the outermost layer of the eye and lines inside of the eyelid, and sinusitis, swelling of the sinuses, small empty spaces behind your cheekbones and forehead that connect to the inside of the nose. It is reported that the prevalence of allergic rhinitis has been increasing rapidly in developing countries such as Brunei Darussalam. There are approximately 10 to 30% of adults and 40% of children are affected globally. Allergic rhinitis can be genetically inherited. Children are 30% likely to experience allergic rhinitis if one parent is affected and 50% likely if both parents are affected symptoms. Some of the symptoms of allergic rhinitis are sneezing, runny, itchy or stuffy nose, and itchy or watery eyes. You may experience the symptoms after being exposed to an allergen. Allergens are substances that cause the allergy. Most of the people have allergic rhinitis with mild symptoms, which can be easily controlled. However, there are some people who have severe and persistent symptoms which can disturb their sleep and everyday life. Therefore, if you find that the symptoms are severe, it is recommended to see a doctor for a consultation. Causes Allergic rhinitis is triggered by breathing in tiny particles of allergens. Initially, the immune system will react to the allergens. As a result, it causes the cells to release a number of chemicals that cause the inside layer of your nose to become swollen and produce too much mucus. Examples of the common allergens include dust mites, pollen, and pet dander. House dust mites are tiny insects that can be found in house dust such as mattresses, carpets, soft furniture, pillows, and beds. Tiny particles of pollen that is produced by trees and grasses can be the cause of allergic rhinitis. Pets, such as dogs and cats, are the most common animals that cause allergies. The allergic reaction is not because of the animal fur, but flecks of the animal dead skin and the urine and saliva. Prevention by avoiding the substance that can cause your allergy, it can be controlled. Hence, it is important for you to know the things that you are allergic at. A skin prick test is an allergy test used to identify allergies of a person. In this test, a series of tiny drops of allergen will be placed on your skin and the nurse will lightly prick on the surface of your skin under each drop so a small amount of the allergen will seep into the skin. You need to wait for about 15 to 20 minutes to see any reactions. If you are allergic to a substance, you will develop a red, itchy bum. If you are allergic to pollen when you are at home or in the car, you need to keep the windows and doors closed. After outdoor activity, take a shower and wash your hair to remove pollen from hair and skin and also to prevent contamination of bedding. If you are allergic to a pet, it is best if you remove pets at home permanently. It can take several months before the allergen levels return to normal. However, if you are unwilling to give up your pet, you need to keep the animal away from your bedroom and out of rooms that have carpets. It is also necessary to wash the pet once or twice weekly. Installing a high-efficiency particulate air filter or an air purifier may also be helpful. And third, house dust mites. Try to avoid carpeting the bedroom and main living areas. For people who are sensitive to mites, 
If you want to vacuum or make a bed, you should wear a face mask during cleaning. Try to minimize using a humidifier as excess humidity can promote the growth of mites. Tobacco smoke can worsen the symptoms of allergic rhinitis, hence it should be avoided. Irritants such as insect sprays, air pollution, and fresh paint should also be avoided. Treatment There are a lot of non-prescription medications available to relieve symptoms of allergic rhinitis. You may want to try the medication if you don't feel better when you try to avoid the things that cause your allergy. In this video, I'll be explaining on Loratadine 10 mg tablet. Loratadine is an antihistamine used to relieve symptoms of allergic rhinitis. It is less likely to make you feel sleepy. It reduces an excessive discharge of mucus from the nose and sneezing. However, it is less effective for nasal congestion. For a child who is 2 to 11 years old, whose weight is up to 1 kg, the dose is 5 mg once daily. Meanwhile, for a child who is 2 to 11 years old, whose weight is 1 kg and above, child who is 12 to 17 years, and for adult, the dose is 10 mg once daily. You can take the Loratadin tablet with or without food. If you take more Loratadin tablets than you should, you may experience drowsiness, fast heartbeat, and headache. Hence, you should seek medical advice immediately. If you forget to take Loratadin tablets, take it as soon as you remember. If you remember the missed dose at the time of your next dose, just take the next dose. Do not take a double dose to make up for a forgotten dose. To help you remember to take your medicine, try to get the habit of taking it at the same time every day. When you are taking Loratadine 10 mg tablets, you may experience common side effects such as dry mouth, headache, nervousness, and fatigue. Although drowsiness is rare, which is about 10%, it can occur and may affect the performance of skilled tasks. Hence, do not drive while taking this medication. You need to store the medicine at room temperature in a cool dry place and out of reach of children. Loratadine tablet may have a potential reaction with some medicines such as betahicin for Meniere's disease, a disorder that affects the inner ear, pitolicin for sleep disorder, and monoamine oxidase A and B inhibitors for antidepressant. Therefore, avoid taking loratadine with the medicines listed just now. If the symptoms do not improve for more than a few weeks, please consult a doctor at the nearest clinic or hospital. Special Precautions If you are breastfeeding, it is advisable to avoid the use of loratadine as it is present in milk even though it is not known to be harmful. If you have a severe liver impairment, it is advisable to talk to your doctor before taking loratadine tablets. Before I end this video, I have prepared some questions for you from what has been covered in the video. You are only required to answer the question as true or false. You can pause the video after every question given and answer yourself to test your knowledge. First question. The symptoms of allergic rhinitis are sneezing, runny, itchy or stuffy nose, itchy or watery eyes, nausea, and vomiting. True or false? The answer is false. Nausea and vomiting are not the symptoms of allergic rhinitis. Second question. The dose of taken loratadine tablet is as follow. For a child who is 2 to 11 years old, whose weight is up to 31 kg, the dose is 5 mg once daily. Meanwhile, for a child who is 2 to 11 years old, whose weight is 31 kg and above, child who is 12 to 17 years old and for adult, the dose is 10 mg once daily. True or false? The answer is true. Last question. If you forget to take chloratidine tablets, take a double dose to make up for a forgotten dose. True or false? The answer is false. 
If you forget the declarative in tablets, take it as soon as you remember. If you remember the missed dose at the time of your next dose, just take the next dose. Do not take a double dose to make up for a forgotten dose. I hope this video can enhance your knowledge on allergic rhinitis and its medication. Thank you for watching and have a nice day!